Hi all folks, this is MaximumZeroMax.com and GalaxyTabHacks.com So this week I am just over at my parents house and they don't have internet but thankfully I have a bunch of smartphones so I've got my uh, Evo 4G tethered to 4G we get good 4G signals here and my 3D and my 3D actually, Evo 3D actually gets a slightly faster downloads on the same location I think it's because it has a faster CPU and it does make a difference um, that's what I found out and also I've got my G2 phone um, tethering uh, on T-Mobile's uh, 3 4G thingy they call it 4G but it's really 3G but it's still really fast getting like 2 megabytes download on it 3 anyway I've got the fastest probably the ROM for Galaxy Tab here um, I've got the um, the other day I had the uh, review of the Starburst ROM, but this is actually a slightly newer version. It's just slightly faster. And also I've got the uh, 1.4 gigahertz kernel, which is the overclocking kernel um, for the uh, Touch UX models. And that's what I got. So let me give you a test of my quadrant scores. Um, this ROM is so fast. I know somebody said that um, the Starburst ROM is about the same as stock. But with the overclock kernel, it's going to be like 50% 50 50 faster. Um, so let me see. The only thing that's kind of still slow, I think that can be improved, is basically the file I.O., which runs the, um, I think it's called the NIFS, which is the standard Android uh, operating system, file system. But uh, I've seen that like phones like this one, they've switched it to uh, extension two or extension four on some of the Android smartphones I have and that it really just when you do the quad run it just zips so that's the only thing left I think and uh, you could probably reach speeds near like four or five thousand uh, once that happens but Galaxy Tab 10.1 there's not enough developers yet so we're just starting stages um, and also did you hear about the oh well let me ramble later I'll have a video about it Anyway, I've got, look at that, 2831. Oh, yeah, look at that. Actually, let me zoom in so you can, can see how fast my tab is running. Uh, Everything is running really smooth. Um, I really love this ROM. It's just basically stock but faster. Plus, if you get the overclocking kernel, it's going to make your tab into Super Tab 10.1. Anyway, check it out. I have links uh, where you can get all of this to make it like this. So you can get uh, quadrant speeds near 2800, almost 3000, um, which is really good for um, this. And uh, also, I'm getting like 4, 000, near 4000 on my next Google Nexus S, which is weird because. Um, but I think it's because it has. Well, let me go into that later. Anyway, thanks y'all. Uh, subscribe. That was the big news. Um, you can get really fast speeds with the Starburst ROM and the 1.4 gigahertz overclocking kernel. I have links below or you can check it out at my site at the eepadhacks.net which will show you my current setup um, and it's really fast and I love it. And uh, oh, let me show you the set CPU app real quick so I can show you that you'll have to download set CPU separately and install it. Um, so I'm running at 1.4 gigahertz. Let me zoom in. Oh, sorry, this video is getting longer and longer. Uh, 1.4 gigahertz. That's on demand. So it doesn't actually drain more battery. It only drains more battery if you're using um, graphic intensive CPU in in intensive stuff. Um, or you can, you know, you can always turn off overclocking. Just run set CPU app and turn it off. And you, you can even underclock. So why go with stock when you can get this? Anyway, that was my current setup of Galaxy Tap. And I have my, uh, I'm going to be trying to do the same thing uh, on my Evo 3D next. So subscribe, y'all folks. And I'll try to keep uploading videos on my free tether sprint phones and T-Mobile phones and Whatever. See y'all later.